Let's take a look at setting the HUD zero on the Revic PMR. Generally speaking, you only need to set the HUD zero when you first set up your rifle. After you've mechanically zeroed the scope, uh, so sighted at 100 yards or 200 yards, once all that's done, you go back and you have to tell the computer that this is zero. Now, like a lot of things with the Revic PMR, we try to keep the user interface very simple and straightforward, but the, the mathematics that underlie what you're doing with setting the HUD zero is very complex. Essentially what we're doing is we're measuring the zero angle. So we're measuring the inclination, the temperature, the pressure, the, the elevation offset, the zero range, um, even things like the wind, like aerodynamic jump, all of those things contribute to the HUD zero. And, and what, what we're doing is measuring and calculating that zero angle, and then we'll fix that zero angle for all shooting situations going forward. Um, one of the things that's important to realize is that your, your zero that you get in the scope when you return to zero does not always return to the zero range that you've set. It always returns to the zero angle, but the displayed range may be slightly off. Say you set 100 yards as your zero range, sometimes you'll see 117, sometimes you'll see 95, you'll see, or less than 100. What we're doing is the, the ballistic computer on the scope is correcting for your current conditions, your current inclination, and all the current variables that it's sensing and measuring. So, so potentially you might not see that um, come back to the exact value. You know, there's some other factors that contribute there. Uh, one of them is a, a topic called critical point, and that has to do with your trajectory and its, its incidence angle relative to the line of sight. And the closer that you get, the more likely very small errors will cause dis bigger distances in that offset. So 100 yards, you might see, say, 117 yard versus if you zero to 200 yards, maybe you only see 205. So that the incidence angle is small, uh, greater at 200. Um, so you'll see these numbers that are slightly different. Don't let that concern you. If, the, if you're off by more than probably 40 yards, you know, go ahead and do the HUD zero routine again. But technically, what you really want to do is let it set at the zero angle and then work with it over time. So in the setup process, yes, you do it. If you have like a really bad uh, error or the zero angle is completely different, let, maybe something happened with the setup or, or some scenario that's wrong, generally you don't have to reset it. So let's go through that process. It's straightforward and it's easy to do, but it does need to be done exactly right because it has ramifications for all of your ballistic calculations. Everything's based on that initial zero angle. So when you go to the menu, I'm gonna show you the manual way to do it. So power on the scope, count to three seconds. All right, so we go to the main menu. What you need to do is navigate to the settings menu that's all the way on the right, that's, or left, that's the, that's the heads up settings. So when you're at that settings menu, the top entry is the HUD zero. So if you hit enter, that puts the box around the set value. You have to press and hold enter until you get the three dots. And once you get that, it will return the outline to cover the HUD zero and set values. And then if you just let it time out, it'll go back to the main display. And that sets the zero at 100 yards. So now it's right there. Just remember, on the setup, yes, you're gonna set up the, the HUD zero. And then on most scenarios where you have some small variations, don't worry about resetting the HUD zero. And for myself personally, I, I always try to do the HUD zero in the same exact conditions as when I zeroed the rifle. So if you do want to do a reset, most of the time I'm going to ask you to mechanically verify that your zero is correct. And then if you do all that information, you'll start with a zero that is correct. The computer will know that your zero is correct and it'll know what that zero angle is. And then all of your long range ballistics will be correct and uh, according to the ballistic calculator. So the, the zero angle concept is very cool and it's a movement that I, I think we're going to see really take hold in the industry for now. Uh, uh, visit one of our videos that describes zero angle and explains it a little bit more. Use the app and the features on the zero angle when you're doing your ballistic calculations uh, and you'll, you'll get a, a more comfortable sense of what that is. 
For now, this is the Revic PMR, and I've just showed you how to reset your HUD zero.